Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to increase the memory limit of your WordPress website. And there's really only one reason you want to do this, and that is you got an error message. And that error message says something like, error, you've exceeded the number of megabytes allowed for your memory limit. And a lot of hosts set their memory limit for, their, for your servers at only 8 megabytes, and there's a lot of plugins that require more than that. And if the host set that limit, you have potentially have to contact them. If what we do in this video doesn't work to increase your memory limit, if it doesn't solve the problem, then you have to contact your host and have them increase it for you. So in this video, we're going to increase the memory limit via the WP config file. So here we are in our HostGator account. This is where our test site lives. And we're going to scroll down to the file manager and click on it to open it. Check the document root radio button and pick the website that you want to work in and then click on go. You can also do this via FTP if you're more comfortable in FTP. But once, you, it, once you're in your website root and you see all the files, you want to find the wp-config.php file, highlight it, and then click on the edit button or open it in an editor if you're using FTP. And we're going to scroll down to the very bottom and we're going to paste our code above where it says that's all stop editing happy blogging we're going to put this simple piece of code above that and this is the code that allows us to increase the memory limit and I'm just going to paste in the simple piece of code and you can find this code below this video as well so you don't have to type it out just copy and paste it from there and what this code says is the WP memory limit make that 64 megabytes the capital M stands for megabytes and quite often the plugin or the theme that's throwing the error will tell you how many megabytes it needs or the developer will share that information with you in the documentation. So change this number, the 64, to whatever amount that is that you need. Maybe it's 96, maybe it's 128, maybe it's 256. I've never seen any plugins or themes need more than 256. And the higher this memory limit is, the more your server resources are being used. And like I said earlier, a lot of hosts cap it at only 8 megabytes. So if there's a cap at 8 megabytes, and you make this change to whatever number it is that you need, 128 or 96 or 64, and it doesn't fix the problem, then you have to contact your host because they probably have a cap that's overriding your memory limit increase. So after you've set that to whatever amount that you need, make sure you keep that capital M in there. No matter what you change that number to, keep the capital M. And then we click on Save in the top right. And then we go to our website, go back to the dashboard, just refresh the page, make sure everything's still working, make sure it's nothing's broken. Whenever you mess around in the WP config file or an HT access file or really important website files, you just want to do a quick check to make sure you didn't break anything. Just having one extra period or one missing quotation mark can break things. So just to make sure, I always recommend you make a change and you go and, ch go and see what happened. And hopefully nothing happened. Or... Hopefully something did happen. Hopefully what you wanted to happen happened and it didn't break instead. So that is how we increase the memory limit. We just paste this simple piece of code into our wp-config file. We change the megabyte value and we save it. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, check out our social media, and check out wplearninglab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.